All right, I'm gonna say this one time and one time only for all my subscribers and all my followers. I'm a nigga, right? A black nigga from Brooklyn, right? I done grew up, yo, what up nigga? I done been called nigga to my face, okay? So I think I earned the right to say nigga, 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 as many times as I want in my videos. You not gonna sit up under my comments and tell me I can't say nigga, nigga. And if you got a problem with it, nigga, you can unsubscribe. Nigga, 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 nigga. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, Jermaine Dupri says all female rappers rap about sex, and Cardi B responds, Busta Rhymes slaps the shit out of a nigger right in front of the police. Plus, Salt and Pepper says she's suing Spinderella. I mean, Spinderella says she's suing Salt and Pepper. Let's talk hip hop. Other female rappers, do you have a favorite right now in the rap game? Cardi B, Nicki, Megan yeah. Thee Stallion. Um, stand out to you. Uh, I can't really say. <laughs> Not like Cardi B. <laughs> I have a, no, you know the reason why I can't say is because I feel like they all rapping about the same thing, and I don't feel like they're. I don't think they're showing us who's the best rapper. I think they're trying to show. For me, um, it's it's like strippers rapping, and I don't I don't. As far as rap goes, I don't. I'm not getting who is the best rapper. I'm getting like, okay, you got a story about you dancing in the club. You got a story about you dancing in the club. You got a story about you dancing in the club. Okay, all right. Who's getting ready to? Who's right. gonna be the rapper? So, so different. yeah. What's I, the, I, what is the thing that you want to see if you're not like? Just you? more. I mean, I feel like at some point somebody's gonna have to break out of that mold and just show us, a, you know, talk about other things like rap. Just rap about other things besides that. I mean. Okay, right, so Jermaine Dupri does an interview, right, and this nigga is like, yo, <laughs> the female rappers all rap about sex and sex only, right? All right, so yeah, a lot of the mainstream female rappers do rap about sex, right? A lot of the female rappers that we hear on the radio, Young Miami, Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, do rap about sex, and it kind of does sound like a bunch of strippers that are just rapping, right? I don't think Young Miami was ever a stripper, and neither was Meg Thee Stallion. Cardi B was, but you get my point, right? Nicki Minaj was never a stripper, and she does rap about her pussy a lot and so does Trina right um but there are some rappers and I mean a lot of female rappers now I mean y'all know right a couple years ago there was only one female rapper rapping in hip-hop and that was it right but now right now actively in hip-hop I could start spitting off like 20 female rappers off the top of my head right so the female rappers that you may hear on the radio if you're driving to work or whatever the case may be yeah they do be rapping about their pussy a lot right but you got got Lizzo who doesn't rap about her pussy, you've got uh, Tierra Whack, you've got Kamaya, you've got um, Rico Nasty, you've got Steflon Don, I mean there are bad rappers that do not rap about their pussy, now some do, some do, I ain't gonna say Jermaine Dupri is wrong but he's giving a blanket statement, he's basically making it sound like all female rappers just rap about sex, right? Um, Cardi B saw this and responded. Let me tell you, let me tell you about some rappers that are really fucking dope that be rapping their ass off and I don't feel like they get the recognition that they deserve. Tierra Whack, Kamaya, Rhapsody, there's this girl called Oraniku, I don't know how to say her name, I don't even know how to say my own real motherfucking name, so shit, don't blame me. But they be rapping their ass off and I feel like we need to put these girls more in magazines, uh, blogs, blogs, blogs. Y'all need to start putting these girls on y'all blog. Because I know y'all watching this. Put these girls more on y'all blog. Um, radio. DJs. Y'all need to hear these girls. Y'all need to play their music on the radio. Uh, my fans. I want you to hear these girls. Because these girls can rap their motherfucking ass off. And we need to support them. And they don't rap about David JJ. They don't rap about sucking dick. And they dope ass rappers. All right, so even though Cardi B is one of those kind of rappers that all she does rap about is, well, I'm not gonna say all she raps about is sucking dick, as she said, that's what she said, right? Um, she is showing love and giving props to other female rappers who rap about other stuff than that, right? She named a couple rappers, a few rappers that I said to, but those are a couple rappers that I didn't even think about, right? Um, and this is dope, right? And I think that Cardi B kind of, 
I don't know, man. I guess like she, the reason why she raps about sex a lot is because I guess it's the popular thing to do, right? And yeah, she's a pop, I mean, well, she's a hip hop artist, but she's a hip pop artist, right? Just like Nicki Minaj is a hip pop artist or Drake is a hip hop artist. So these people kind of cross into that pop lane a little bit and you know, yeah, they rap about their pussy and so does Meg The Stallion, right? But Cardi B says the reason why rappers or female rappers always rap about sex is because we don't really want to hear female rappers rap about anything other than sex. Okay, guys, so I have seen a lot of people, right, that nowadays female rappers only talk about their pussy and shit, and now that Jermaine Dupri bring it up, now I'm going to say something about it, right? First of all, I rap about my pussy because she's my best friend, you know what I'm saying? And second of all, it's because it seems like that's what people want to hear. I ain't even going to front because let me tell you something. When I did be careful... People was talking mad shit in the beginning. Like, what the fuck is this? This is not what I expected. I expected this. I expected that. So it's like, if that's what people ain't trying to hear, then, all right, then I'm going to start rapping about my pussy again. And second of all, there's a lot of female rappers that be rapping their ass off and don't be talking about their pussy and don't be talking about, you know, getting down and dirty. And y'all don't be supporting them. Y'all don't be supporting them and they be mad though. These bloggers don't support them. They don't give them the recognition. So don't blame that shit on us when y'all not the one that's supporting them. I mean, look. Cardi B kind of has a point because people like hearing ratchet ass music, but that's kind of like only at the club or maybe like while you drive into the club or whatever the case may be. Like if you in a certain kind of mood, right? And she got to speak for herself when she says like, yeah, I don't be supporting them because me, I support all female rappers. I fucks with Young M.A. who also never raps about sex. You know what I'm saying? There's mad female rappers out there who rap about other things other than sex, right? But I mean, it's the same kind of thing, right? You could say that Young Dolph, Yo Gotti, Jeezy, Gucci Mane, Kodak Black, NBA Young Boy, Glock 9, Quando Rondo, um, all of these motherfuckers rap about being in a trap, right? All these niggas rap about running from the pub. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's just like a certain genre of hip hop if you're into that sort of thing. You can name five female rappers that all they do is talk about their pussy, yeah, right? But you could also name 10 female rappers that talk about everything else besides that. You know what I mean? I mean, um, does Jermaine Dupri have a point? And are y'all feeling what Cardi B is saying? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Alright, so y'all see there, right? I guess this is like construction, I mean, surveillance camera footage from like a construction site or whatever the case may be. Uh, and Buster Rhymes is a famous nigga. Nigga, 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 right? Buster Rhymes is a famous nigga, right? So he's walking through the streets of New York and then somebody approaches him and they're basically like, yo, Buster Rhymes, what up, right? And according to the nigga that said what's up to Buster Rhymes, basically he was like, yo, um, I said what up to Buster Rhymes and Buster Rhymes said, I'll fuck you up right now keep in mind there's always like police walking up and down the streets in new york so i don't think anybody called the police i really kind of think that the police was just there like on the scene already right the police saw a little argument a little scuffle they walk over right they see his bus rhymes they know it's bus rhymes so they're not going hard which is cool right um buster rhymes is feeling so comfortable in front of the police though that the guy calls him a, a, a homophobic slur right he calls him you know Know, the, the word that rhymes with Bob Saget, right? And then Buster Rhymes got upset, right? And got in his face. It was like, what you call me? You know, they was like, punk pussy, whatever, whatever, whatever. Fuck you, nigga. And uh, then they call him Bob Saget. And Buster Rhymes slaps the nigga right in front of the police, right? Police don't even do nothing. They just like, yo, chill, 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 whatever, whatever. Police don't arrest nobody and all that's cool, right? But the reason why this footage is coming out is because then the construction worker, bitch ass nigga, right, calling the police on somebody. Yo, yo, just chill, man. Take your little slap and go on, right? Now he wants to file a complaint against Buster Rhymes, right? So of course he's probably gonna try to press charges. Of course he's gonna try to sue the nigga. Of course he's gonna try to settle out of court. I mean, y'all know how it go when a celebrity puts hands on somebody in the street. This shit happened to Offset. This shit happened to the baby. Shit happened to Cardi B, y'all know, right? Um, 
And this is crazy, right? Because the police actually came out and said that they were on the scene and whatever that construction worker was saying that Bust Rhymes got all in his face and said, I'll fuck you up and started the beef and blah, 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 is not what happened. The police was taking Buster Rhymes' side and they were basically saying like, yo, the construction worker is the dude that started the shit, right? So this is cool, right? So because the police are speaking up for Buster Rhymes, he's probably not going to be sued. Well, he might end up trying to be sued but they're gonna block it with a police report there ain't gonna be no fucking charges filed or nothing like that and this shit is crazy it'll go away you know in a little bit but it's just crazy because again another situation where a random fan walks up to uh, somebody on the street and they don't know what to say or what to do or how to approach the motherfucker and they end up getting the shit slapped out of them the same thing happened with ASAP Rocky and it almost happened with 50 Cent when he had to square up with that nigga that was like yo look at my IG look at my IG so I don't know man do y'all think that fans should keep on walking up to these celebrities uh let me know what y'all think in the comments Yo, this is sad to see, right? Because Salt and Pepper are like legends in the game. Well, they're not like legends, they legends, right? And then you got Spinderella, who's their DJ, who's also a legend in the game, who's been in the game forever, right? Pretty much from day one with them, right? I think, don't kill me, I think, but don't fucking kill me because I know how y'all like to do. There was another DJ in there at one point, but for the most part, they had Spinderella there, right? Um. Now, you know, Spinderella a couple months ago went on Instagram and she put up like this long post talking about how, you know, yeah, she was there with Salt and Pepper and helped them promote the tour. And now they cut her out the tour completely and she's not going on tour with them, right? Um, and she was upset about that, telling her fans, like, I'm sorry, it's out of my hands, it's not my fault, but y'all won't see me on tour, right? Um, but that was a couple months ago, right? And it was sad then, right? But now she's saying that she is going to sue them for at least 125000 dollars for unpaid royalties right she's saying over the last 10 years salt and pepper both got paid roughly about six hundred thousand dollars in royalties right but those royalties a hundred and twenty five thousand of them should have went to spinderella too because she needs her cut too keep in mind even though with salt and pepper is the name of the group it's not just two people in a group it's three because they have a fucking dj right and she's been with them forever that's like the fresh prince and jazzy jeff it's not just the fresh prince man there's two of them it's the fresh prince and jazzy jeff the nigga and his DJ. Nigga, 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 nigga. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, but Spinderella is also saying though that uh, there was a show on VH1 about how Salt and Pepper rise to fame and stardom and that she was supposed to be in more scenes or included a little bit more on the show than what she was and that she's upset about that too, right? Because yeah, she did do a couple guest spots on the show, but she showed up on a damn show like, hey, high and by, like pop in and out as if she didn't really have something really crucial and an important role in Salt and Pepper and their rise to fame, right? So I, I, I don't really think that this is money related, to be honest with you. I think that Spinderella got money and she ain't hurting for money at all, to be honest with you, right? I think the legend is upset because she feels like she's almost being like written out of the history books, right? Everybody who fucks with hip hop, I'm talking about the purists. We know that Spinderella had a lot to do with Salt and Pepper, a whole lot, right? And she was cutting the records and everything, to be honest with you, man, if Salt and Pepper wasn't even writing their shit, then hell yeah, Spinderella is really, really the talent because she was really cutting them records and doing all that shit right um but she feels like they're trying to exclude her out of that for whatever reason right so now the only way that she can try to at least gain some of that i guess recognition back or save face with the fans or whatever the case may be is by suing them for a dollar amount right um, but this whole situation is sad. I hate to see my legends fighting. Why are they fighting now? If they wanted to fight, they should have did that shit 25, 30 years ago. But whatever, man. Let me know what y'all think about this and everything else down in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure y'all follow me at Johnny Fastlane. That's J-O-N-N-Y on Instagram. And y'all niggas already know what to do. Peace.